Quite enough. What's up, y'all? Just want to record a short video with a homemade sunblock I've been using for the last couple years. Um, I do use sunblock, um, and I using zinc oxide. Um, and then it's just I was buying from the store. It's expensive, and I found a shop on Etsy, and I will definitely link the shop below. Um, it's called um, the shop's name is Simple Life Mom, and Kelly is the name of the person, the shop owner, I believe, from my home state. Um, in um, they're in Pittsburgh. Uh, she's in Pittsburgh there, and then um, so this this can be this is sold um, on on Kelly's shop, and that is eight dollars a four ounce here I make it myself so I'll go over really quick at the end I want to make this a brief video but I want to just show some of this, the ingredients I have at home um, and with the zinc oxide you know what I'm not gonna open it. this is just shea butter it came in a larger container um, try not to get this on my computer I'm not gonna open it but this is zinc oxide powder very toxic so when you're making this I usually I will always like have no food around make it in a separate area and then I do um, put it over paper bags and I definitely wear gloves. Um, and then the other ingredients, and there's a couple recipes of, of it. This is the one I like though. The carrot seed oil, and I'm gonna link all the ones I bought below, um, Just, but you can also do your own research. Um, myrrh oil, and then um, I bought these at my local co-op, the droppers, because it's important you don't overdo it. You could burn your skin. Um, so you just have to, just have to count. Um, and then the coconut oil I just use is from Costco and then I made this in advance sometimes I don't like I made a couple batches so you can see and it'll be liquid because you're boiling uh, not boiling but you're heating like you want like warm coconut oil but here's kind of the consistency you can see it's pretty thick so it's got it's got the shea butter and I, I you know I'm not gonna lie the um, oxide a lot of times will fall to the bottom so you have to mix it and if you put it in a couple different smaller containers like I have these pretty small like one I think it might be one ounce ones travel size that I even keep in my apartment that um you know you just have to stir it and some of them will be thicker than others so one of the downsides of making it at home but i want to really quick go through um the prices of these because i i'm just still amazed after all these years that the price is so great so i don't know if you get the huge tub from costco the coconut oil you could buy a smaller one you don't, I don't you don't need a ton um this recipe um so but on on if you buy it from Amazon, it's twenty two dollars for a huge tub. But you could use it in the kitchen and stuff too. Um, the small myrrh oil I showed is I think it was a five milliliter that I have also is oh I have one one yeah five milliliters yep it's fifteen bucks and I bought this back in uh, twenty seventeen February so it's been two years I still have it I haven't rebought it the carrot oil ten dollars. And I think it's that's the same size, yeah, ten milliliters. And I use the amount, and that's I still have it, and I've made many batches. I'm 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 not shy with the sunblock, and then the shea butter. That one I've bought rebought once, but that is uh, sixteen ounces, fifteen bucks. And then the zinc oxide I still have that is fifteen bucks. <clears throat> I did research. I guess zinc oxide, <coughs> the sunblocks, expire after two years. So if it's kind of already been two years, so maybe I'll. Either one, I, I don't know. This is going to take forever to finish, so I'll have to research more because you, you don't use that much. So um, I won't really get into the recipe. I'll just link it in the description. But when you're looking at it, just, you know, there, there's a few different recipes, and um, she's really willing to share them all. So it's just if you want to make them, and that's how I ran into them. So I'll share the link for four natural um, homemade sunscreens. And the one that I use that I just showed here is the one with the not the oils there it's the whipped shea butter so okay well thanks for watching um i hope that it's helpful for the summertime and uh enjoy okay a plus.